What color is your sweater? Uh, butternut squash soup. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a compliment. You can never tell that she's spilled all over herself. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Kat and Deb from Two Market Girls. Time for another fall recipe. It's my favorite time of year. It's soup season. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Guys, you have no idea how long I've been waiting to make soups. <laughs> I think we know now. I really, really like soup, if you didn't know that already. <laughs> yeah. And I finally got to make a soup, which we didn't, we don't make a lot of soups. No, for someone so obsessed with soup. You, you don't really like soup that much. Well, I mean, you do make well. good. <laughs> the few soups we made have been very good. Thank you. I'll give you that. Thank you. So, which well, one did you make today, though? We made a smoky butternut squash soup. Mm. So good. Mm. Squash season is my favorite season. Is it? Yeah, I love squash because you can make soup with it. I never was. I don't know. I wasn't that into squash before, but um, now I think I'm gonna be because this be. soup is. Hella good. Devin's not even that big of a soup person and she really likes the soup. Yeah, like I just want to get through the video so I can just dive into this soup. Like I'm actually going to physically dive. <laughs> you were going to glaze right over that. Uh, but seriously guys, this soup is delicious. It takes like hardly any prep work to do. You, as long as you have a high speed blender, you can make this super easily or use an immersion blender for that if you don't have a high speed blender. But this soup is so good, it makes a big batch. You can serve it at fall parties. You can take it, meal prep it. People were asking for some meal prep soups. Mm -hmm. I do this all the time where I make soups. It freezes really well, so you can save it for later. Guys, what can't soups do? Okay, uh, yeah, let's go see how easy it is to make. <laughs> to make your butternut squash soup, we're going to start by cutting our butternut squash into quarters and then making sure to scoop out all the seeds from the inside of it. Then you want to slice about half of a white onion and then just peel apart the layers and lay them on the baking sheet along with your butternut squash. Then we're gonna add four cloves of garlic to that baking sheet as well. Drizzle it with a good amount of sesame oil. Sprinkle it with salt and pepper. Then we're going to add about a half teaspoon of nutmeg a half teaspoon of cinnamon and a half teaspoon of ginger powder all to the top just sprinkled over everything and then we just want with your hand just kind of toss that and make sure the oil and all the spices are all coated on all the sides of everything <laughs> then we are going to bake that in an oven preheated to 425 for about 40 minutes or until the squash is fork tender make sure to flip the squash halfway so that all the sides are roasting evenly once the squash is out of the oven, allow it to cool for about 10 to 15 minutes before you add it to a blender because adding too hot of ingredients to a blender can cause the top to pop off. Once your squash has cooled down a bit, scoop the innards out of the skin and add that to a blender along with all of the onion and the garlic and one cup of non-dairy milk. We used almond milk for ours, plus a tablespoon of maple syrup, a tablespoon of coconut oil, a quarter teaspoon of liquid smoke, about a tablespoon of rosemary, and three quarters of a cup of vegetable broth. Then we're gonna pop the lid on, blend it until it's nice and smooth. This gets a good pureed, a little bit thicker soup. If you want it a little bit thinner, just add some more broth to that. for president. Please. <laughs> you guys butternut squash soup for president? Oh, Great. It actually smells so good. Thank you. <laughs> I'm taking that as a very big compliment because again you're not a big soup person. I'm not. Do you prefer brothy soups or this type of soup? Creamy. Creamy? The okay. only brothy soup I like ramen. is ramen. <laughs> okay let's eat this. Mm. Even cold is delicious. Oh, it's so good. It actually tastes like there's bacon in this or something because of the smoky flavor. Guys, yeah, the liquid smoke is a must. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just so impressed that so much flavor came out of this. 
And there's like no ingredients in it. <laughs> it was so easy to make. Yeah. I like soup. <laughs> I like soup. We know. <laughs> no, I like soup because it is pretty easy to infuse flavors into soups, especially like a pureed soup like this, in my opinion. Um, brothier soups kind of take a little bit longer mm -hmm. to make. Mm -hmm. Um, but this soup is so good, especially because it's got that fresh butternut squash in it. So, so much of the flavor comes from the butternut squash. You don't lose it with everything else, but everything else complements it so well. Mm -hmm. It like tastes like you're eating fall. I was literally just going <laughs> to say that. I was like, I think this is a bowl of fall. If you can't tell, we like to eat seasons. <laughs> we do say that about food a lot, don't we? Yeah, this tastes like summer. <laughs> But, you know, most people would say that fall tastes like pumpkin spice. Mm-hmm. Which, I mean, there is kind of pumpkin spice in this. Nutmeg, cinnamon, and ginger. The only thing missing, really, is the cloves. Oh, okay. So pretty close. Yeah. If you like PSLs, you'll like this. It's really good, guys. Mm hmm This would be, like, a great appetizer mm -hmm. for, like, Thanksgiving, because American Thanksgiving's coming up. This would be great for that. Yep. Um, but also just lunches. Yep. You know, when it gets colder, soups are great to take because they just warm your insides. Yep. And if you spill them on yourself, warm your outsides. <laughs> Please don't spill the soup on yourself. Unless you have a butternut squash yeah. colored shirt. You need a butternut squash shirt. We will be selling these in our store. Merch. <laughs> I would like to know about the different kinds of squash out there. I've made soups with lots of different kinds of squashes before. What is your favorite kind of squash and what do you like to do with it? <laughs> what do you like to make with it? I just thought it was funny that we're talking about vegetables in the comments again. Could we be any more what? vegan? What's wrong with talking about vegetables? This is a food channel Nothing. where we don't eat meat. <laughs> Nothing, it's fun. Let's do it up. Devin, what's your favorite kind of squash? I guess this one. <laughs> butternut squash? The game. Squash. <laughs> I do like butternut squash. I will say that. Butternut squash is probably my favorite squash. So let us know all the squash comments below. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more delicious soup recipes. And other vegan recipes. For a great talk about squash. Next week we'll be talking about squash for a full hour. Can that be our podcast? No. We'll no. talk about squash. No. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's... I don't know what else to say. Uh, the link to the recipe is in the description oh, yeah. box below, as well as a link to our podcast where we won't be talking about squashes for an hour. Maybe, though. <laughs> but check out that because we talk about random things. So if you like this banter, you'll like the podcast. I think I'm squash drunk. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I don't know. That's all. Like this video. Hit the bell for notifications if you want to see our faces every Monday mor oh, Sunday morning. Whatever day you want to see them. Sunday afternoon. Oh. Okay, we're going to go now. Bye. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't think okay. we need to uh, have a soup mukbang right now. This sounds dirty. <laughs> Does it not? <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I was going to say, it has two of my favorite things, butter and nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Devin. Oh, this soup is making me weird. Is this why you don't eat soups? <laughs>